Hello everyone, this is Loaderinos, and today it's kind of a short video compared to what I usually do. Usually it's in the 10, 15, 20 minute range, but I think this one will honestly be under 10. Of course, I haven't finished it yet, so I'm not quite sure. But the biggest point of this video is to make, I guess, an announcement on my ideas for Elite Dangerous right now. And that is that I'm going to try to visit the center of the galaxy, the center of the Milky Way. And I'm going to try to visit the supermassive black hole that resides within. It is 25,000 light years away, and I started the journey today. Today is the 12th of January, and this video will be uploaded on the 13th. In the meantime, uh, as sort of a preparation, and I don't know, I need a little bit of extra money on the side, and I don't like trading that much. I did my fair part in order to get the ASB, so I decided to just do another exploration run. And I decided to go to GY Andromeda. Andromeda, I'm not sure how you pronounce it. But here is a little image of what my original plan was. And I deviated from it a little bit, visiting targets uh, off and on that path, but the biggest points of interest were the Pleiades ne Nebula and, of course, GY Andromeda. Now, that is 330 light years to the Pleiades, 305 light years to GY Andromeda, and then 450 light years back for a grand total of 1,085 light years. Of course, it's much more than that because it didn't go in a straight line, and it's it's always more because the way the map works, where you have to jump around systems a little bit, you can't just point to your destination and poof, route plan for a thousand light years or <laughs> however much it is. Now something I did do with my spare time is write a really simple little application that pulls my um, travels or the systems I've visited from the log files. And you can do this yourself too. It's pretty simple. Just look up where the net log file is in the game data folders within your computer. And I made a nice little list that is displaying right now of the systems I visited. I'm going to use the same program after I streamline it a little bit to do it automatically to keep track of my travel into the middle of the galaxy. I expect it's going to be an extremely long trip. Round trip it's going to be 50,000 light years. My ASP Explorer fitted out as of now has a jump range of just above 31 light years. And I've kitted out with the best gear that I could buy except for several things such as the power generator that I severely underpowered in order to save weight and be able to jump farther. I also have very low quality shields that only were there they're only two tons. They're just there for the purpose of getting me safely through the first 500 light years or so without taking too much damage from interdictions and NPCs or even players because I do play in open play. So without further ado, here was my little trip to GY Andromeda. I was interested in the star because I found something special about it. I found a website that listed various uh, qualities of stars that are special in some way or another. And this one, it's a blue star, GY Andromeda, uh, has Prometheum. And Prometheum, if you look up what it is, it's got the symbol of capital P lowercase m on the periodic table, and has an atomic number of 61. It's a radioactive element, and it is considered very rare. This is not found on any other star that we've discovered so far. And I'm just reading off the screen here, and this is astonishing because even the most stable Prometheum isotope has a half-life of only 17.7 .7 years. In chemistry, the half-life of, of an element means that it degrades by half in that time. So if something has a half-life of 10, that means from in 10 years' time it will have degraded by half. In 20 years' time, it'll degrade by half again from what was left, so it'll be 25%, and again, 12.5% in 30 years, and so forth. This is a very old star, and let me look up exactly how old it is very quickly. I have it here somewhere. 
Yes, it is 528 million years old. That means that the star produces Prometheum itself continuously. How it does this isn't known yet. From its state of development, G.Y. Andromeda reminds of Alpha 2 Canum Venaticorum. Yeah, I can read stuff. The star is orbited by an invisible companion every 273 days. That's exciting. I wanted to go visit this. Why not? Since my previous trip to C.Y. Canis Majoris, I became a Pathfinder in exploration, and I'm looking to get that up to Ranger. People usually say bad things about exploration. It is true, it doesn't make a lot, but when you find the right systems, it pays off pretty well. Plus, exploration, I think, is one of the more exciting things in the game. I have screenshots of coming up on the Pleiades Nebula, sitting here in asteroid belts by a planet with a, with a Bernard's Loop in the back, finding systems with double Earth-like star uh, planets really close to each other, orbiting each other, actually. Solar flares. So many things. Earth-like planets that pay a ton. Sitting in the middle of the Pleiades Nebula, on my way to GY Andromeda, scooping fuel in the most ridiculous ways possible. I found a system with seven terraformable planets, a system with tons of stars and planets surrounding them, the AI telling me to slow down while in hypercruise going thousands of times the speed of light, and finally, GY Andromeda. As expected, it was a blue star, and it was a class A star. It was a sight to see. It's huge, it's bright, it fills up a large part of the screen with a blinding light. And it was a good sight to see, so I recommend you go out, visit it. It's not too far away. On my way back, I didn't see much. But when I got back to the station, I sold all my data. After selling everything off, I made a profit of around a million CR, with the most profitable system being in the COL 285 sector. Thank you for watching the video on my visit to GY Andromeda, and I hope you look forward to seeing the center of the galaxy.